I mean, and this isn't so much from a martial perspective, but just in a conversational perspective or a work perspective, all the time we're engaging with people. And at some point there's a conflict, like somebody wants to do something and I want to do it a different way. How do we do that? We have a fight about who's going to win, <laughs> which ideas win, or do we kind of look at it from a different perspective and see, and I think Feldenkrais is always looking at things from different perspectives. And Aikido really also helps people in those other settings of work, relationships, family, anything, look at something from a different perspective, as opposed to our first perspective, which might be, no, I'm right, they're wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we really look at how do I, how do I see in Aikido, and I think also in Feldenkrais very much, how do I see the other person's perspective, right? So we do in Aikido, we do actually physical movement to bring ourselves to the um, same side as the person. So here you are sitting on on Zoom, like face to face, so to speak, or maybe not face to face. I'm not sure what it looks like, but side to side. But in Aikido, when you're kind of like a uh, person is like face to face, we kind of shift it so that I would come around to see what they're seeing over here. I mean, literally see what they're seeing over here, right? And as opposed to staying here, you just move your body and you go, huh, that's a whole different way of seeing. So now all of a sudden I changed the whole dynamic. I may still have the same stance. That other person may have the same stance, posture, right? but it's different. We've changed it. Yeah. And then the outcome can be a lot of different things depending on, you know, the, the intentions. Yeah. Can you uh, help us understand or break open maybe the relationship between emotions and then how we, um, I'll, I'll not use the word, I'll say how we carry ourselves. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, so emotions actually mean to move away. <laughs> so it's, it's clearly oriented toward movement. And oddly enough, it's movement is generated by musk muscles, right? We move with our muscles. Uh, I like to also add skeleton, nervous system, all of those things, but, but basically it's the muscles, soft tissue. And, um, and because when you have like, let's say one, one emotion we could just look at is fear. So when someone's in fear, there's usually a, contra it's a contraction in the musculature. There's a, a pulling away, just like when you, you know, like pain even too, like if you put your finger in a flame, you'll pull it out, you'll, you'll withdraw it very quickly. You move away from it. So each, each emotion will have an element of moving away, taking care. You know, if I'm sad, there's a certain kind of physical shape that I take. If I'm happy, there's a certain another physical shape that I might take. And it would be weird to come walk into a room and say, oh, I'm so sad. Or, oh, I'm so happy. It's like, it's just not congruent in a way. And people kind of go, oh, I don't know. I don't know that person, <laughs> right? There's a dis something, there's a disconnect there. So emotions and posture or the way we carry ourselves are very much connected. And um, again, I think, once we can become aware and you know emotions are slippery too because one minute you're fear one minute it's anger the next minute sadness it just it morphs all through but if you can sense you know in the moment when i start to feel like a an emotional state that's starting to take over what like maybe anxiety even like i mentioned before i know that when i feel anxious my breath is going to change or I know if I feel sad, I notice that there's some kind of heaviness in my body that I'm, that I'm not, that doesn't normally appear. Um, so, but I think each person will have maybe a different way of feeling or sensing that, 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 right? So I can't say for everyone, if you're sad, you're gonna feel heavy. But I think what we can do is create, uh, start to feel into it, sense again ourselves, Oh, when I'm sad, what is what are the sensations? What happens inside me when I feel sad? 
And then once you can feel that, I think actually my assumption is if we change our way of moving, then we can shift the hold that the emotion has on our way of being. Thank you.